Hey guys, this is Dapson Ishmael. Today's tutorial is a part two from my previous tutorial. So in case you've not watched that yet, kindly use the card at the top right of the screen to be able to see that. So I'm going to continue from where I left off. So as you can see, I already have a card designed with my icon to the left and then my text to the right. What I'm going to add next is a line, which is going to be in between here. Let me just see if I can show you that. So that once I put my cursor on it, you notice that a line extends. So let's take a look at how to go about this. So I'll double click on my card and then click on add and then add a divider. So the divider is going to have a color of something that is going to be visible. Let's say red and then the width of it is going to be two pixels. When I click on OK and click on OK, you notice I have my divider here. Now I'm interested in moving it up um, just one because I need it to be in between this text and this text. Now I need to reduce this, the width of this divider as well as to be able to have some space in between the text. So I'm going to double click on this, come to margin. I'll start with margin top which is going to be about um, eight pixels and then margin bottom also about eight pixels. And then I'll click on OK. So you can see that. And then I'll double click and come back and then I'll come to my divider again. This time around, I'm going to increase the margin to the left and to the right. So the margin to the left is going to be 60. To the right, I'll start with maybe 200 to see what I get. And as you can see, it is reducing. So my left side is perfect. So I need to increase that of the right part. So this is going to be, um, let's just say 250 pixels, click on OK and click on OK. So I can reduce it a little bit more. So I'll make this 300 instead. And I think that should be fine. Maybe just increase it a little bit more. So this would be 280 and that should be fine. Okay. Now, if I preview this in the browser, you notice I have my text, I have my line, and then I have my text over here. The next thing is to have the animation to this particular line. So I'll double click on my card and then double click on my divider and then switch to the animation section. Now you have animations as well as transitions. What I'm interested in doing is under transitions instead of animation. And we need to understand the steps or the process going to be involved. What I want happen is when I hover or put my cursor on the card, the entire card, any aspect of the card, I want to have the animation affect my line. So that is what is going to be done. So when I come back here, and I click on add, there are series of triggers or the animations or transitions here. What I'm interested on using is the hover option, which by default is already selected here. So I'll leave this on hover and then I'll leave the duration. Um, I might want to change the duration to 100 because I wouldn't want it to last for a long time. And then the delay, I wouldn't want any delay before this animation takes place. So I'll leave it on zero and the timing, maybe I might want to use the easing property. And then I come to property itself. So this is where I select the actual property or transition that is going to affect my line. So I'll click on it and then I'll scroll through and search for border right width, which is this. So I'll select this and then it will ask me to input a value. So I'm going to add something which is going to be significant to my border once it um, changes size. So I'm going to make this 10 pixels. So I'll make this 10 PX, click on OK, click on OK, and then click on OK again. And then I'll preview this in the browser. So when I put my cursor over it, um, I think it's taking place. Let me just be sure. So as you can see, because I think the size is too small, so let me just add up to it. So I'll come back to my transition section and then I'll make this 20 
pixels. Let me just leave this on linear and take a look at something. I then preview this again in the browser. So as you can see, the animation has been taking place. Let me just do one more thing. Um, let me change the card property from forward to false and then preview this again. So you notice that by default, the, there is a border here. I don't know if it's visible enough. So as you can see, so when I hover, I'll put my cursor on it over here. So that's basically just about how to go about this particular tutorial. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.